So I guess tell me heading into year two, tight ends fullbacks coach. What's the feeling for you as a coach? Is it different this year going into a camp? Uh, obviously things have slowed down a bit because you kind of understand um, and, and have you kind of understand how things are going to the schedule is going to uh, end up. You got your routine down from a year before. Um, obviously last year we had a lot of experience in the room with Sam Laporta, so it was a very seamless process because you got uh, Sam Sam Laporta, you got Luke Lachey, uh, two guys that have a lot of experience that's been in the room that kind of and then you got Monty Potterbaum. Uh, exit Sam Laporta, exit Monty Potterbaum. So that's a lot of guys that kind of knew the offense through the system. Um, now you got Luke Lachey, you got Eric Hall, you got Steve uh, Stilianos, you got Addison Stringer, and you got those uh, new freshmen coming in. So knowing the system a bit more, I can help those guys more directly. Um, but it's been great. I think we got a, I think we got a great group, group of guys with a great combination of experience. And when I say experience, I'm talking about Luke and more so Eric because he's played in the Big Ten. And you got Addison Estrenga, who has had some experience on special teams. Uh, so I think we got four guys that's above the line right now um, that can go out and, and play really good football for us. Obviously, Luke Lachey, Eric Hall, uh, Steve Stilianos, and Addison Estrenga. And I think Johnny Piscuzzi is coming along as well, too. Can you talk about Luke and Eric and how they complement each other? Yeah. Um, for one, those guys you know, get along really well. Anytime you bring it in someone from the outside, the transfer portal, you, you, you never know how the chemistry is going to work with the guys in the room. But I can tell you, Eric's been great. The guys have been very receptive to him. Um, he's been a really great addition, not just for the tight end room, to the tight end room, but also for our program. And those guys uh, uh, play, play the game fast and physical. Eric's very explosive. Luke's is very smooth in, in, in his route running and his catching ability. But those guys complement each other um, really well. You got a pretty good body here. <laughs> nah, he's put together. He's got a great skill set. You know, you watch him in a weight room. You know, sometimes those guys are lifting, and I'm just kind of hanging out or, or, or watching from above. And everything he does is at 110. Uh, percent He maximizes every rep. He's a very explosive player, uh, and he loves playing the game. And he, he loves being here. So you take those two things: love playing the game, uh, want to be at Iowa. And that's a great mix um, for a successful career here. What about the chemistry with, with Kate? Do you see that right away that they play together? Uh, you see it because they can communicate. And if there's something uh, within our office, a concept, you know, that maybe they have a terminology, a language that they knew or, or, or very similar to um, back at their previous institution, they, those guys can communicate that but I also know in terms of timing and relationships and that kind of stuff but also just having the ability to communicate effectively on and off the field um, with, with your quarterback I think is very very um, influential you and Greenway you competed out here like I've never seen mm -hmm. two guys compete do you see that with Eric and Luke are they competing too I think defense is a little different <laughs> because there's one one ball and a bunch of guys running and hit it uh, hit 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 the guy um, but I think I can see some contrast in, to, in terms of what you're talking about. And I think the competition more is just trying to execute at a, at a, at a very high level cons consistently um, and trying to be exact on the details and the small and little things and pushing each other to be better every day. I think that's kind of what I, I can see from, you know, when I played with Chad is the ability to execute at a high level, um, be exact on the details on a consistent basis and push each other to be great. You guys competed like no other. You wanted to win every competition. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. What have you seen from Luke stepping up, kind of mm -hmm. upperclassman? Obviously, Sam's gone. He learned the ropes from him. Um, have you seen him kind of uh, take a different approach now as a leader of the room a little bit? I have. You know, Luke's a natural leader in his in his own way. Um, he, he showed a lead by example. and He's very consistent on and off the field. Since Sam left, I can see him take a more of a... Um, you know, speaking up a little bit more, taking the guys under his wing. He knows, you know, he's been in the room for some time now. So if he's seen guys that have done it before him in terms of what they brought to the table, in terms of how to lead the younger guys, and you first and foremost, you got to lead by example. So I think Luke says, um, you know, taken to that leadership role really well. But I also tell Luke, you know, Luke Lachey need to be Luke Lachey. You know, and, and there's a lot of things that makes him unique. And I think he's been doing a great job for us. And I think he's improving his game, both in the passing game, also in the run, in the run, in the run blocking uh, areas of his, of his game. And I think he's off to a great start. And I look forward to him playing, playing his football.
fullbacks, you got Hayden Large just moved to the position. Rusty's a true freshman. Mm -hmm. How do you get them up to speed uh, the next three weeks, four weeks? Uh, well, well you, Hayden played in college before, so that's that's a plus. And then he was also here in the spring, uh, so he's gotten the spring on his belt. Unfortunately, we had a guy go down, and we had to pretty much throw Large in there. And I tell you, he, he's, he's been really great, you know, just stepping up, asking questions, coming in early. Uh, but his development is just getting started, you know. But thank God he has some experience playing at, at Dort College, at Dort University, um, and look forward to him. And then you got Rusty, a true freshman, coming in. At the end of the day, you got two guys that can run, two guys that can hit, two guys that can understand what we're trying to get accomplished from an offensive perspective. So I think you got a, a, a two guys that can really go out and play their position the, the right way, and the way we need them to play. Taylor Thompson working there too, or back and forth? Uh, not yet. We just tight got him end. at the um, focus on tight end. Um, but I do, do think he has a unique skill set to be able to do some things in the future. Right now, we just got to work in that tight end. But I, I think Jalen runs really well. Um, obviously, coming in as a freshman, he's picking up things. You just want to kind of take it, take it a little slower for him. For, but I think he's going to be he help our team if he continues to work hard. If you don't mind me asking about the freshmen, obviously, just had him here for a summer. Uh, Zach and Grant, what have you seen uh, as far as their development just arriving? Uh, Zach is, you know, you never know when you recruit guys. You see what, you know, you see guys on. Um, on their, you see their film, you go watch them in person, you're trying to project kind of how they're going to be in college. But I tell people, you know, most of your freshmen, as they as as they come to camp here, they're going to be the, the worst players in your position room because they're inexperienced and don't really know much. But I tell you, man, Zach um, have been really, really good. He's, he's a really bright kid. He asks questions. He understands what we're trying to get accomplished uh, conceptually. And he's going to continue to get better. He pushes himself. Same thing with Grand Leaper. Um, Leaper only had one year of high school football, you know. So you know he's got some ways to go. I think he's actually ahead in certain aspects of where I projected him to be at this point in his career. So really impressed with both of those guys. I think we got two tight ends. If they continue to uh, stay healthy, continue to work, um, and do do the necessary things to improve on and off the field, especially in that weight room, I think their future is pretty bright. Uh, if I can ask about the guys kind of in the middle, Stilianos and Ostringa, have you seen some time, uh, kind of, um, what have you seen from their, their their next step? I think right now, um, I got Stilianos as the most improved guy from January to now. I'm, I, and most of his improvement have came with Coach Ray and all those guys in the weight room. And the, the better he's gotten in the weight room, the strength and conditioning with his speed has made him a better football player. And I think I look forward to him helping us this year. Last year, obviously, um, he didn't get as much opportunity to play. But I think this year, we're going to find some spots for us to help us. And I think he's done a really, really great job thus far in the spring and also in the camp. I mean, this guy has really improved. And I give all the credit to him. He, he's, he's came in. It was rough on him in the first year. Things was different. He stuck with it. He kept working. Um, and, and now we're going into the fall. Hopefully, he continue to stay healthy. But I think he's going to uh, help us this year. How about Addison? Addison's been awesome. You know, I think I, I look at three, four guys that we consider above the line. I think Luke Lachey, Eric All, Addison Estringa, and um, Steve Ciliano. I think those four guys at any time you can put in the game, they can execute the entire game plan. So I feel really great about those guys. Addison has continued to improve. He did great for the room. Um, I got him rooming with one of the younger guys because I want him to mentor them. Addison only been in the program for two years, so you can see how we feel about him. He knows our system because he understands it. He studies. The guy works hard, and he's been a blessing to, to be part of that. Uh, to have, he's been a blessing to have in that room.